Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Edit. My name is Jared Hux. I am your host today. I'm also a wedding and portrait photographer based out of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And today we are working on food photography in Lightroom 5. Let's get started. Okay, so this is a plate that I shot at Ko Sushi here in Myrtle Beach. Uh, it's an awesome restaurant. They do a Vietnamese and uh, sushi kind of fusion restaurant. It's an absolutely gorgeous place. Uh, wood tables, bamboo plank plates. It's just fantastic. And the food is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, father and son team that do all the sushi prep and they're absolutely phenomenal. We are not going to be using a preset today because I don't like using them for food. Let's go ahead and get started in how I'm going to be transforming this into something for my portfolio and for their website. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and start off with a little bit of contrast. I like the color of the plate here, and I'm, I'm going to come back to the details on top of the sushi here. So we're just going to put a little bit here. We're going to bring the highlights down. That way I can even out the color of the plate. Maybe just a little bit of clarity to add some to this plate. Great. I'm, I'm really just focusing on the details here the soy under it and uh, the wasabi here on top of the bamboo plank and now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I want to add a little bit more interest to the photo so what I'm gonna do uh, just so I can do this correctly uh, we're just gonna go ahead and grab uh, show selected mask overlay and I'm just gonna start painting in here I'm gonna up my flow so it's not uh, taking me forever to do this and we're gonna go over the bamboo plank but we're gonna come back and fix it and that won't be a problem Great. Um, if you're in the Charleston area or Myrtle Beach or even Savannah, they have uh, these restaurants open in those three locations, and it's fantastic food, awesome atmosphere. If you're ever in town, I, I would definitely check that out. It's one of my favorite places to eat uh, just because of the absolutely great uh, atmosphere. I like the pho and, and all the other Vietnamese dishes. I'm actually not a sushi eater, so uh, that doesn't interest me at all. My wife loved it. Uh, and you can't deny that the plating is just absolutely gorgeous. But um, what I'm going to do here, uh, oops, go ahead and grab my brush. We're going to fix that. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, we're going to see how much of this we need to fix. Okay, grab that adjustment, and we're going to turn off selected mask overlay. I'm gonna turn this down. We're going to fix this. It's a little easier to fix once you see it. But now that I've turned the exposure down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab temp. We're going to start changing temp and temp. We're going to start changing the color of this table. Okay. I like that. We're going to add some contrast and clarity. The wood grain is awesome to add clarity to. So that's starting to look nice. But I want to add a little bit more red. I like a little more red in it. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now what I need to do is I need to fix this a little better. So I'm going to go ahead. And the only reason I'm doing this here in Lightroom is just to show you that it's possible. You don't you don't need to have Photoshop. I mean, there's definitely a lot of advantages of having Photoshop. And if you know how to work in it, it's definitely quicker than a lot of um a lot of these types of uh jobs, but you know, you can do just about anything you want to inside a Lightroom and that is why I think this program is just absolutely fantastic I can't wait till Lightroom 6 uh, finally arrives and I can go ahead and start working in that as well looking forward to putting out a walkthrough video to show you guys exactly how I will be using the new um, uh, features and stuff that they're adding in uh, it is rumored to have um, Panorama software, HDR, also included would be uh, face recognition, which I'm really excited about. So I'm um, showing that overlay. It's getting there. We need to fix this area right here. I'm go ahead and just zoom in. If you're looking to just kind of move around within Zoom, what you can do if you don't already know is hit spacebar, which gives you the hand. You can do it that way. You can also move around from the the navigator to to uh to see everything that way as well. Okay. All right. 
I don't mind having gone over it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring my feather down to almost nothing. Bring the flow down. We're going to just slowly work our way out. This honestly is not very orthodox for uh, this type of work. I, I wouldn't do this very often, but just because um, I wanted to break it up and give this uh, something a little different than I had the rest of the plates. Um, you know, I really just like this. It's been used on their on their social media page. It's also on my my portfolio. If you'd like to see it there, it's just um it's a cool little image. But I wanted to make sure that um I had something that complemented the color of the sushi because it was such a different style dish. There's just so much going on, and I want to make sure that gets seen and featured. Okay, that's that's good. Maybe um. Maybe a little bit more here. I'm not going to spend too much more time on this just for uh, explanation's sake. I have a version of this that's already finished, but I want to make sure that you guys see that this is possible. Okay, good. I've, I'm pretty confident with that. I feel that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and just up exposure here. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Just a little bit of clarity. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint in some detail here on the top of the sushi. Now this is obviously over what I want. What I want. I'm going to be bringing this back, uh, at least putting a little bit more shadow in it. Maybe a little bit of contrast and bring the shadows back up. Good, 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 good. Maybe add a little bit of clarity. Awesome. And um, this is getting close. This bothers me. I don't like that one it looks like maybe a green onion or something but I just want to pull that out that's bugging me I, I really you know like I, I've said before it's very simple to move things around inside of Lightroom uh, especially with the the spot removal tool but you have to be careful as to what it it uh, samples from and but the cool thing is you you can move the sample that's not an issue um okay that's about right I can live with that good good now you know one thing I would like to say here just before uh you know I start to wrap this up is just make sure that you're editing for your client yes of course you want everything to look as good as possible but you have to take into account what you have and and what is possible in your time limit for your budget you know I'm not gonna spend 16 hours on a photo of sushi that's going to be used for Instagram obviously I'm gonna make it look good but there's no reason to go into so much detail for a screen that small I mean I'm, I'm just being realistic of, of course I I definitely think you should do the best job that you can I'm always gonna do the best I can for my clients but at the same time I wanna make sure that I have a product that's affordable for them as well so I, you know, this guy right here, he didn't need $4,000 sushi photos. He needed, you know, a specific amount, and that's what I provided for him. So he was very happy with it. I'm very happy with it. And, you know, uh, they still use these photos today. This is, um, this is actually from last year, and I'm looking forward to, um, you know, uh, working with them in the future. Uh, great, great, great. And uh, I think this is probably finished. This was my original edit, and uh, I don't think I'm too far off. So that's that's pretty close. Um, obviously, I probably spent more time on the edges and everything else. But just to give you an idea, you know, you can do this, uh, even though I did it kind of sloppy to begin with. But, you know, this was all edited in Lightroom as well. And, uh, you know, it, it was very simple to do something that was just easy to uh, to create and have a lot of fun with you can do anything you want to in the software just make sure that you take the time to learn how to use it and that's why I'm here I want to show you everything this is capable of and all the things that I use it for if you've enjoyed this please make sure to subscribe to the channel because I have all kinds of cool stuff coming out soon and uh, you know stuff in the archive as well make sure to check it out if you'd like to see more about the work that I do and um, the work I'm doing for other people as well so um 
you know, check out everything in the description below. You'll see my website, jaredhux.com, as well as make sure to connect with me socially through Instagram and Facebook. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.